afternoon all. Um, today, well, what we got? It's Wednesday. It's halfway through the working week, or well, working from home week, should I say? So, uh, well, we'll have a look, see what's in the news today. I don't know what's going on outside. Someone's dropping something, but hey, I'm sure it's not uh, broken. Whatever it was. Um, today we have uh, some news from Sky. So. Sky have uh, launched Disney Plus on their platform. However, if you want to use Disney Plus, it might not be the best place to watch it. Uh, Sky, at the moment, even though they've had months and months since the American launch to come up with a solution for the um, product coming into the UK, um, they've obviously not spent their time doing any real development so at the minute the application that comes onto the sky queue is uh, 1080p only no hdr what's that about sky i mean how long has sky queue been out now and you promise hdr at launch and we still don't have hdr even the amazon fire tv sticks have got hdr now and they run android for god's sake anyway um so uh if you want to watch disney plus it might be better to get a fire stick <laughs> watch it on there because at least you can have 4k and hdr from a fire stick um hopefully sky update the application at some point soon to bring it into the modern world but hey who knows other sky news um remember i mentioned a couple of days ago that sky are allowing you to halt your sky sports subscription um whilst there's no sports on uh, they've launched a web page for it now so you don't have to ring them up um, to do it. They don't actually turn your Sky Sports off because there's no point because there's nothing on it anyway. But um, they leave it up and running. They just don't charge you for it from the day you click the button. So it's worth wandering along to the website for that, clicking the button and disabling it. They'll auto disable. Uh, they'll auto reactivate it when they start broadcasting real sports again and stuff. Why they don't just turn it off for everyone who's got Sky? sports on their package I really don't understand it'd be easy enough for them to do it's not like they're actually turning the channels off for everyone anyway they may as well just stop charging everyone for it whilst whilst this is all ongoing but hey they've obviously got their reasons hopefully people don't do it and they keep the money coming in um, links in the description below so click on the description link um, click the button and it'll turn it off for you uh, save you a few quid at least uh, Microsoft have announced that um, Microsoft Defender or Windows Defender as it used to be called is coming to the Linux platforms as well so there's a bunch of Linux platforms that are getting it most of the Ubuntu flavors most of the Red Hat flavors um, I think there's a couple of other flavors as well that are gonna get it um, but it's a good thing I mean Microsoft Defender on Windows is the built-in antivirus it constantly gets uh, regarded as top three top five in its class it's lightweight free doesn't take up any time on your processor it doesn't take up any time keeping it up to date doesn't take up any time with pop-ups and warnings and overblown features that no one actually needs so if you've got the chance to use it you may as well use it it's not like it's going to cost you anything so have a look into that. It's available on Mac, um, well, kind of available on Mac. The ATP version is currently available on Mac. Although they did say they were going to bring the full-blown end-user product to the Mac as well. So we'll see how that gets on. Um, Apple, in the similar sort of vein, security-wise, I mean, Apple have announced um, all of their operating systems are getting updates today. Uh, I'm just doing Mac OS over there. Um, but if you use a Mac for anything, um, it's worth updating. Apple have got a sneaky habit of putting critical security fixes into uh, minimal updates or point updates as they launch out without telling anyone. It's noisy doing the update. Um, so it's worth getting it down. I think there's updates out on the iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches, Apple everything um, so worth doing um, at least keep up to date in these days with malware running around rampant everywhere it's worth keeping it all up to date 
In other malware news, Adobe Creative Cloud, um, make sure you get that up to date. There's been a critical security patch applied to it that allowed people to delete local files off the file systems for computers with it installed. Um, if you've got it set to auto update, you should be good. If you haven't, go and make sure you update it. Um, you don't want people being able to delete your local files. Uh, in human malware news, keeping on the malware kind of uh, tracked, uh, the UK government has announced that in-home testing kits will be coming soon. They're going to be distributed via either local pharmacies or via Amazon. Uh, obviously, I think there's a small charge for them, although they haven't told what that is yet. Um, and they're designed for people that are self-isolating that have symptoms of the virus. So if you've got any symptoms and self-isolating, when details of those pop up, might be worth ordering one in, making sure that you're all right. Obviously, don't go wandering down to the high street pharmacy if you've got it. Get someone else who's not in your zone of contact to grab it for you and drop it on your doorstep. Uh, or get Amazon to deliver it for you if they're going to do it that way. Uh, just easier. Don't, don't go wandering around if you think you've got the virus. Don't go wandering around if you don't think you've got the virus. But uh, self-isolation, the whole thing going on. Um, in other working from home news, it seems Microsoft is struggling a little bit with Azure. Um, for a couple of days now, uh, I've been getting uh, strange issues with creating Azure Kubernetes um, uh, virtual machines, um, saying it's unavailable, it won't start, there's not enough capacity, etc., etc. Uh, now it seems it's spreading a little bit more. Uh, VMs are being affected, and Down Detector's got a whole bunch of warnings saying Europe, Japan, and a couple of other pieces around the world are showing issues. So it looks like Microsoft are struggling with the amount of resources that are being plonked onto the platform at the moment. Microsoft are usually pretty good at getting resource uh, capacity sorted out fairly quickly. Um, so I'm sure they'll rejig everything back into a working sort of uh, ensemble. But uh, if you've got strangeness going on on your Azure subscription and you uh, keep getting warnings about capacity and stuff like that, that might be your, your, your issues. Have a look on Down Detector. When I last looked, the Azure status dashboard doesn't say there's any problems, but Down Detector's got a whole bunch of problems showing up, as you'll be able to see up there. Um, in other Microsoft news, in better Microsoft news, they've launched Bleeding Edge onto the um, uh, Game Pass platform for Xbox and Windows subscribers. So if you're a uh, Game Pass subscriber, Wanderer, and that's your sort of game, not really my sort of game. Um, I've got enough games on the go at the minute between RE Doom and Half-Life. But uh, if that's your sort of thing, wander along, pull it down from Game Pass, works on Xbox, uh, Xbox S, uh, Xbox One X, and Windows PC. So plenty of uh, opponents to go run around and destroy things with. Uh, other stuff that they've announced for Game Pass dropping in, there's Power Rangers if your kids are into that sort of thing. There's um, the Surge 2, Ace Combat 7, and obviously Ori got dropped a couple of weeks ago. Um, and if you like Metroidvania style games, well worth a go. It's really pretty as well. Um, and then for our daily watch stuff, instead of TV, movies, Netflix, the likes, I thought I'd drop a, a few channel names for um, YouTube channels that you might be interested in. So uh, I'll link them all below if you want to go along, but uh, have, have a look at these. Uh, you got Peter McKinnon, if you like uh, camera stuff, he's really good. Uh, Canadian guy, <laughs> he's quite amusing as well. Um, you got Tested, which is um, a, a technology sort of channel. Um, and it's got some of the old um, Mythbusters crew involved with it. 
uh, Kevin Smith, well, you all know who Kevin Smith is, um, Digital Foundry, they do an awful lot of game style stuff, um, they do details on the Xbox One, PlayStation, PC, all sorts of tech around that sort of thing. Uh, Linus um, Tech, um, also a computer style one, also Canadian, fairly, fairly amusing sort of videos. Lando Norris, I showed you some Lando Norris yesterday, always worth following on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, Mark Priestley, he's an ex McLaren F1 mechanic um, and he does some fairly in depth uh, F1 um, videos, quite interesting at times. Uh, Forgotten Weapons, uh, looks into a whole bunch of um, guns and stuff from the by old days and how they work and things like that. It's quite, quite interesting. Trainer Tips, if you're into Pokemon Go, there's a whole bunch of other Pokemon Go kind of YouTubers uh, that are worth watching, but Trainer Tips is always good. Uh, BigClive.com, he's a hilarious Scotsman that lives in the Isle of Man, and he takes stuff apart and shows you how it works, and breaks it, mods it, hacks it. Uh, Mighty Car Mods, a couple of Australian guys, they do an awful lot of stuff with cars, they're genuinely well worth watching. Um, amusing and uh, always up to something funny. Uh, Emergency Awesome, if you're into like comic book news, movie, comic book movie news, uh, TV stuff. Uh, Corridor Crew, they do special effects and things like that. Um, it's interesting to see behind the scenes of how some of the special effects that you see on movies and stuff like that work. Remember the video that came out not so long back with the robots wandering around on a gun range and stuff like that? That's one of their, movie, their, their videos. And New Rockstars, also TV, movie sort of stuff. They might take apart and do, don't take apart. They break down movies and look for the hidden meanings and stuff like that that's in them. Uh, all links below. If you've got any other YouTube channels that are worth a watch, also drop them in the comments below. It's well worth finding new channels that are interesting, especially in these times when it's something to do at least. Um, having said that, all links below that I've mentioned. Um, stay safe, have fun, and ta -ra.